Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie and this is Ellie. She's a little Parson Terrier slash Jack Russell. And I wanted to include her in this video today because I know a lot of you guys love seeing her. And if you guys love dogs, please consider subscribing. I'm a huge dog lover. Or if you just love luxury handbags and reviews and unboxings, I do a lot of that on my channel too. So please consider subscribing if you love that content as well. But yeah, I think Ellie will just sit here with me while we talk about today's video. Yes? Are you bored? No, you're not bored. <laughs> so in today's video, I want to go through some of the reasons why you should not purchase the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini Backpack. I know that there are a lot of videos out there saying how great the Palm Springs Mini Backpack is, how much it can fit, and I'm guilty of that. I've done a lot of videos on that as well, but I thought it would be really helpful for some of you guys out there who are on the fence about it to hear some of the cons and kind of the reasons why you shouldn't purchase it and look elsewhere. And if you still really want to add this bag to your collection after watching this video of all the cons and why you should not purchase it, then I think that's a really good indicator that this bag is for you and that you should really add it to your collection. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Actually, before we get started, I did want to quickly mention the earrings that I'm wearing today. So a big shout out to Ideal. I did a video on them in a previous video of mine and this video is not sponsored, but I just really wanted to let you guys know that they do offer these really cool modulated earrings so you can wear the stud just like that by itself so they're actually real 14 karat gold jewelry and real diamonds so lab grown diamonds and they're just at such an affordable price to a lot of other retailers out there even online retailers so definitely check them out and i just love how you can mix and match them so i've just added the lucia earring to the bottom here and i just love the way that looks how it just sits under the earlobe and it just looks so so cool and i've been wearing these non-stop so yeah i just wanted to give a quick shout out to them. I do have a 10% discount code, which I don't get any commission for, but I'll leave that in the description box below just for my subscribers. So yeah, please check them out. I just love the jewelry so, so much. So now let's get into all the reasons why you should not purchase the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini Backpack. So the very first reason is the price. So this is a very expensive bag for pretty much just, it's all canvas except for some of the accent pieces like the handle here and this strap and a few of the little tabs at the front. But majority of the bag is canvas. And in Australia currently, it retails for $3,550. So well over $3,000. And yeah, that's just a lot of money for such a tiny bag that's majority canvas. You could definitely get a full leather handbag from any other brand like YSL, Givenchy, Gucci. My Givenchy Antigona mini bag there is, I think retails for like 2,500 Australian dollars. So a thousand dollars less and that's an all leather handbag and it can fit so, so much more. And this is yeah, a very tiny canvas bag that retails for 3,500. And yeah, I think that just translates to the popularity of it. It was in such high demand a couple of years ago. I think in 2020 when I purchased it, this was like the IT bag. I think it was also the IT bag back in 2017, but then they revamped it and changed the zipper of it. I've done a full in-depth review of this as well, so I'll link that video up here if you haven't seen that yet. But yeah, this bag was really, really popular and everyone wanted this bag in their collection. And it was just so hard to find, especially in 2020 when we were all in lockdown and the only place you could purchase it was on the online store. So yeah, that was the reason why I think that the bag has gone up so much in price just because the popularity, the demand of it. Louis Vuitton know that people will purchase it no matter the price. So yeah, I think the price tag is just so, so expensive. And that's why I would not recommend purchasing the Palm Strings Mini Backpack. There are so many better alternatives out there. There are so many other backpack alternatives out there that you could get from other brands that are a lot less expensive and then use the extra funds on other things like a wallet or a small leather good or another handbag even. So yeah, unfortunately the price tag is just not good on this piece and for a pretty much an all canvas bag, it's just not worth it. So the second reason why I would not recommend it is there are a lot of glazing issues I've found with the bag. So with the wear and tear overall, it's been pretty good just cause it is all canvas. But I've noticed on the leather tabs here where the D-rings hook onto the bag, especially down here i kept this on here just to show you guys i wanted to like cut it off because it's really annoying but i just kept it on to show you in this video as you can see there there's like a little leather tab hanging off and that's like the glazing on the side there and that has completely just peeled off and i don't know if that's i think it's just from the wear like the d-rings moving around and the glazing just peeled off and Louis Vuitton are notoriously known for the glazing issues, especially like on the bags like the Pochette Matisse, the glazing on the side there, 
And yeah, I think I've heard a lot of people talk about the glazing on these as well, and you can get them replaced, but I've heard that when Louis Vuitton replaced it, they actually unstitch the entire backing of the bag and then they replace it and then stitch it all back. And that could cause more like issues like the bag just inflating in here and like the way they stitch it, they have to like obviously hold it in place and stitch it back and it could just leave it not that pretty. Like the bag right now is immaculate, but once they get into it, unstitch it, stitch it back up, it could interfere with the way it looks. And yeah, I just don't think it's worth it. So that's why I just wanted to cut that off. But for a $3,000 bag, I don't think it should be doing that. And especially since I've only had it for, I think, yeah, about two years now, but I don't use it every day. I just use it on occasion. And yeah, that's happening already. So that's really annoying that that is peeling off. And this one here is peeled off completely. You can see like, the coloring of the inside. It's like a brown, light brown color on the inside where they've glazed it. The top parts don't seem too bad and I'm not sure too, not too sure why because a lot of the weight would be on the top there. So I don't know why the bottom ones have started to peel off. So yeah, that's really unfortunate and I yeah would not recommend purchasing the Palm Springs Uni backpack just because you already do see these signs of wear just within two years of wear. I noticed these like well before, like a few months ago even. So yeah, under two years and it's already showing these signs of wear. So the third reason why you shouldn't purchase the Palm Springs Mini Backpack is that it's a very casual bag and there's not many occasions you can wear it to. So it's very limiting in that case. So you can only wear it pretty much to, just like if you're going out for everyday errands or just to the shops or just going on walks, just like very casual outings, you wouldn't wear this to like a special event, like a wedding, for example. It's not a bag that you could take with you anywhere. Whereas I think I've spoken about this before, the Louis Vuitton Alma BB is such a great bag because you can wear it casually, but you can also dress it up, take off the strap and wear it as a evening bag, as a top handle bag or in the crook of your arm. I think that is such a great bag and it only retails for $2,500 or 2550 So $1,000 less, than the Palm Springs Mini Backpack and you can get a very versatile and practical bag in the Armour BB. So yeah, for that reason, just for a very casual backpack, I don't think that it's worth $3,500. It's just a lot of money to spend just on a small backpack like this. So yeah, that is the reason, another reason why I would not recommend the Palm Springs Mini Backpack. It's just too casual and there's you won't really get your cost per wear down on it because you can't wear it on every single occasion. So the fourth reason why you shouldn't purchase the Palm Springs Mini Backpack is that it's a very tiny bag and it is mini for a reason. So if you just unzip it here, I do use a Samorga organizer just to keep everything in place and to kind of prevent the date code from rubbing off. The date code is just at the back or bottom there and it is just like printed onto a leather piece so I don't want that rubbing off and that's why I've got this little organizer and this is great for the Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy as well I use this in my Nano Speedy and it fits perfectly so I just keep that in there but as you can see it's just like a very tiny space like there's just one compartment and the one little back pocket there that's really small you can probably fit a card holder but that's about it and yeah, you, there's not really much room for anything else. You can fit a tiny water bottle. I've done a what fits inside this bag before, so I'll also link that video up there if you haven't seen that yet. But yeah, other than that, it can fit your essentials, like if it's the bare minimum essentials, but if you want to fit anything else, that's really not much room at all. And you kind of have to like rummage through everything to find it or take things out to get something at the back, just because the opening is very restricted as well. So. You can't fit much and you can't really reach into it that easily. So yeah, that is just a big reason why you should not purchase the Palm Springs Mini backpack unless you carry nothing at all with you. I just think that it's such a tiny bag and yeah, for $3,500, that is a lot of money for a bag that doesn't fit much. So the fifth reason why you should not purchase the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini backpack is that it's got a useless front pocket here. So this little pocket is so annoying, like I don't even fuss over it like I just leave it open like that and I put it put the zipper on that side because I do like to attach this chain that I have this is from organize my bag and I like to attach it here on that side just so you can attach to the main zipper pull and there's like that nice little kind of I don't know that swoop there like it's got a little nice detail to it whereas if the zipper was over here 
it kind of just looks a bit awkward like if the zipper they're both on that side I don't know I just prefer the look of it on the other side so it kind of like carries across the bag but anyway the zipper pull here not to mention it's super super tough but it is also impossible to get in and out of this little pocket and you can't fit anything in like you could probably fit pieces of gum or like a lipstick in there but then forget about ever reaching for it or ever getting it back because it's impossible to find and reach in there so I just will not bother with it especially if you have like long nails it's impossible to reach in and get it without ripping your nail for example so yeah this is just like a really impractical front pocket I know that there are a lot of mini backpacks out there that actually have a functional front pocket so I think that is a great option I think there are some even like backpacks out there that have like a back pocket like a little slip they can put things in which makes it even more functional and practical whereas this is just not practical at all and for a bag that costs over three thousand dollars i know i keep going back to the price tag of three thousand dollars but i just want to stress the point that three thousand dollars is a lot of money and for a bag to have all these little annoying bits and pieces to it i just think you have to really love the bag to spend that much money on a bag so yeah that's why i wanted to stress that point that it's over three thousand dollars australian dollars anyway but yeah, so that is another reason why you should not purchase the Palm Springs Mini Backpack, this annoying front pocket here. So the sixth and final reason why you should not purchase the Palm Springs Mini Backpack is that the straps are so long. Like on this bag, they're extremely long. It, this is the shortest setting that you can put it on, that the bag allows you to put it on. And this still hits me all the way to where my butt is like it's still such a long backpack so if you don't like that look of like having a really long backpack on then this is not the bag for you you can however i've seen a lot of people do hacks and take off the second strap and loop it through this so you're only using one piece of the strap but i'm really reluctant to do that because i don't want to ruin the leather and the leather has softened up a little bit over time but if I was to bend it and thread it through, I might actually show you what I mean. I'll just detach one of the straps to show you guys. So you just pull it apart like so. And at first these were so hard to get on and off, but they're actually soften up over time just because the leather has softened up. So I just detach that. So now that the bag is, the longer strap is attached and this bottom part here. So a lot of people remove the shorter strap. So I'll take that off. And what they do with the longer strap here, they'll get the end to it and then they'll actually thread it through this and thread through the gold buckle through the D-ring as well. So it's a bit difficult. You just have to put it on an angle slightly to get it through the D-ring. So we just managed to pop it through the D-ring there. You just have to kind of put it on an angle and then kind of push it through, give a bit of force and push it through the D-ring. So it's just through there and now what people tend to do is just fold that so then that little buckle the gold buckle threads through one of the holes so we just popped it through one of the holes there to demonstrate and as you can see it just shortened the strap dramatically compared to this long strap here this one is significantly shorter but i'm just worried that over time that will ruin the leather like it's okay for now but i think if i was to leave it like that and wear it constantly with this bent the leather bent like that i think that'll just ruin the leather strap and it'll just bend and over time it could potentially crack so i'm just a bit reluctant to do that i think if you would prefer to wear it like that and you would get more use out of wearing it like that then by all means you can do that and i think louis vuitton do offer replacement straps anyway but it is at a cost obviously if you're the one damaging the strap yourself and it's not a fault of louis vuitton or the manufacturing process at all and you've done that then i think they might ask you to pay for it but if you're okay with that and this is how you like to wear your backpack and you get more use out of it then by all means but i'm just a bit reluctant to do that so i just keep it on the shortest setting here and it is quite long on me so i'm about five foot three or 164 centimeters tall and that just sits right above my butt area and it is really really long if you guys aren't a fan of that then yeah i would not recommend getting the palm strings mini backpack because the straps are just way way too long if you're shorter than me forget it it's just going to go way past your butt and it's just going to look very very awkward so yeah that is one thing that really frustrates me about this bag is that the straps are so long and there's no way to shorten it even further you can wear it as like a crossbody or like a shoulders bag but again this is 
supposed to be a backpack and it should be worn as a backpack in my opinion or it should be worn comfortably as a backpack because that's the name of it and unfortunately it just doesn't in my case so yeah that is the final reason why I would not recommend the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini Backpack so those are all the reasons why I would not recommend the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini Backpack please let me know in the comment section below if you guys are still gonna purchase it if you still really really love it or if this video has completely changed your mind and you want to look elsewhere please let me know I'd love to hear from you guys but yeah, that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps support my channel and help me make more creative content like this. But until then, take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Before I go, Ellie just wanted to say bye as well. So she just popped up here and she just wants to say bye. Ellie, say bye. Come here, look. <laughs> bye guys.